Number three, don't be too serious. There is a lot of wind blowing. Have you ever asked yourself, today I just wanted to maybe talk Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name Sami QN and I live in Nairobi, Kenya. Nairobi is our capital city and our country is located on the eastern parts of Africa. How have you been? Yeah, so today is actually on Saturday. I am in this river. Okay, to be honest, I don't know the name of this river, but as I edit this video, I will write the name on the screen. So this is the river. And this is the name. Uh, today is on Saturday. I I am attending a bridal shower. Bridal shower are for ladies, but this time I'll be the camera person. I don't know if you remember the previous video. We were in that bachelor's party. Now it is the bridal shower of his fiance because their wedding is in one week time. So today is on Saturday. The following Saturday they will be getting married in a very posh wedding. I happened to be today's camera person and I decided to come down here to explore and see how this place looks like as they cook and do their things. Today I just wanted to maybe talk and show you this river. As we see if I will capture some moments. I have never attended a bridal shower so this is going to be my first time. I know most of you may be uh, especially ladies you have attended bridal showers so you know what happens so this is going to be my first time and i hope that i will be capturing some of the moments yeah can we now talk have you ever asked yourself what makes a person attractive because you're going to realize that some people appear more attractive than others and that is actually the truth uh, there are people who appear attractive Adi, I'm say if you and maybe you don't know why. Have you ever asked yourself whether you are attractive yourself? That is what we are talking about today. So this is the river. Someone is telling me that in Aitwa Kamulu River. Um maybe, I don't know. I will look itangalia kwa map ni confirm kama in Aitwa but I tend to think that it is part of the other river. Yeah. But I will confirm, don't worry about that. <laughs> you know, I love this kind of scenery. Look at that. Look at that there. Yeah. I hope that you don't mind the background uh, the background noise by those birds. The points I am about to tell you in this video are not things I have read from a book. These are experiences I have either experienced myself or others have experienced and maybe I have seen it or they have told me. The first thing is that you have to believe that you are an attractive person. Being attractive has more to do with belief and faith. What is the relationship between belief and faith by theory? You ni assignment ni mekupea. It is more of I believe that I am an attractive person. Before someone else tells you that you are attractive, you have to know it yourself first. That I am attractive. Regardless of how you feel or how you look, it has to, to, to be stamped somewhere in your mind that I am an attractive person. That is number one. There is a lot of wind blowing. I don't know where it is coming from. I hope it will not interfere with the audio of this video. Number two on how to be an attractive person. Be honest and hoping. I have learned this from Ayam Marwa. Um, he is a big YouTuber, a Kenyan. Actually, if you are my subscriber, you already know that two weeks ago I went to visit him in Isibania. That guy is 100% open and honest. Like, Adi, honest, honesty, too much. Being honest means that Yes, you know that you are flaws, but you're not, you not a friend to tell others or you're not a friend for others to see. You're not a friend 
that people will know those flaws or this you know those uh, negative stuff about yourself number three don't be too serious being too serious scares people uh, nobody wants to be around someone who is too serious incorporate uh, some elements of humor and lightness in your environment and space hakuna mtu anaweza penda kukuwa around mse yako serious all the time number four stop worrying about what other people will think or say about you talk what is in your mind walk the way you want as long as you're not offending some some people and as long as you're keeping your reputation reputation together there is a difference between being yourself and spoiling your reputation i hope you get that point do not be so much concerned about other people's opinions and how they think about you number five don't talk too much and don't be so quiet talking too much makes you look annoying if you have to talk kindly make sure that whatever you are talking is something that is tangible and valuable and something that has weight if you talk too much that means you you don't give yourself time to think and digest information being quiet makes you look empty kinyamaza sana watu watafikiria hauna content ama uko empty hapa so at least tupa tu maneno hapa na pale don't be so quiet it is not until you talk people will not even um know whether you are you have a point to prove or you have opinions or things like that just be be careful what you're saying make sure that it is something that has weight and value number six on how to become an attractive person be knowledgeable there is a difference between being educated and being knowledgeable being educated means that you attended school and maybe got a certificate or a degree or a diploma or a phd but being knowledgeable means that you know things like you can be a doctor and have knowledge about accounting and law and even cooking being educated means that you are a doctor you are a lawyer you are a teacher being knowledgeable means that you can handle life and life entails all other aspects law accounting because you have money so you have to know how to use that money you cook you eat i mean so you it means that you know how to cook good food actually being knowledgeable makes you a very attractive person being able to sit down with someone and touch on all areas of life i feel good when i am sitting with someone and they are able to know different things like i feel good because you know we will be able to talk more and more and more and more and more i like sitting down with someone who only knows one thing sitting down with a doctor who knows medicine only that will make the conversation very boring because i, I don't care about medicine yes i care about medicine but i also care about law and politics and food and places and things like that number seven on how to be an attractive person treat people with kindness treat people well don't despise people don't shout to people smile a lot to people greet people be respectful i don't know if you have realized that i have not mentioned about looks how someone looks or whatever they wear i am not saying that it doesn't matter it somehow matters how you look you know being tall short having a a very like i don't know like looking beautiful physically it matters but it is not first in the priority maybe go ko chini uko chini kabisa because you can find someone who is very beautiful as a very good figure and wears very expensive clothes but they are not attractive like when msia miva vizuri ama msia ni msupu like a very beautiful lady with a very good figure but like she is not attractive because maybe of some things that i have mentioned earlier there is a lot that makes people attractive i just mentioned what they seven or eight yeah kuna vitu mingi sana so i can't exhaust all of them so after this nilienda alafu nikapata nikamashere ili kuimeanza i was somehow late 
For the purposes of privacy, I will put her soundtrack behind these footages. <laughs> so from here, we are only going to enjoy some cool music as we see how this bridal shower happened. You know, my friend is actually getting married this coming Saturday and it feels good. Uh, marriage is a beautiful thing. <laughs> for watching this video until the end kindly make sure that you are a subscriber <laughs> i go by the name sami qn